Bea Gibbs turns 93 this year, and among her many interests is art. This morning at Heritage Point where Bea lives, she has a watercolour class. My favourite artist would probably be Van Gogh. Although Bea admires Van Gogh, her preferred medium is watercolour. Her subjects are often inspired by the world around her, like the nearby Southern California coast. But Bea is not California born. The place with that distinction, back in 1918, is Malden, Massachusetts. Bea served in the Navy in World War II. Then she met Howard Conowich and settled down in Wildwood, New Jersey to raise four children. My grandmother was my favorite person. And I thought I would try to do a portrait of her. I'd like to have another time to try my grandmother again. That was my first try at a face. So maybe I'll do better next time. B likes to experiment in her painting. She has done a lot of still lives and has even tried her hand at figure painting. The nude, tell me about that one. Well, <laughs> When I sent it into Facebook, I called it my self-portrait. <laughs> and I said to one of the teachers here, Sharon, that I should have shaved about a half inch, at least, from the backside. <laughs> and I would have been more pleased with the shape. That is my first attempt at a figure. So I've been trying different things and I like to experiment. B. Gibbs has been a teacher and a librarian and she used to have her own TV book show and B is a lifelong learner. She has a bachelor's and a master's degree and numerous other credentials. So computers were never going to be a problem for B. I've been on Facebook about six months. I hear from uh, some distant relatives that surprise me and some friends who seem to be exploring other friends. And so um, I try to answer them. B currently has 28 friends on Facebook, including all of her surviving children. She also has a smattering of grandchildren and other family members. Uh, this is one of my nieces and so is this now this is bonnie's pub this is uh, a great niece technology has come a long way in bees 90 plus years the world that her grandchildren have grown up in is vastly different from even her own children's back in Wildwood, New Jersey in the 1950s. Most of Bee's family live in another state. Her three grandsons live in a whole new world. But Facebook has been a good way to bridge the geography and connect the generations. Some of my grandchildren are on Facebook. Jeffrey and I think, oh, here's my hairdresser, who was here this morning. 
Like everyone else surfing the web these days, B gets her fair share of unwelcome traffic. It gets cluttered with messages from people I don't care about. I often use Google and I like to uh, explore websites that are not familiar to me. And sometimes I ask Ben, who is a computer guru, what's a good website to find this or that. B was born into one world and now lives in another. But at 92, she's still fully engaged and interested in this new one. She is still energized by all the creative possibilities it provides.